What's up guys, Kool-Aid here. Today we're going to be talking about the Hunter CQX, otherwise known as the Crossbow. This is available in three different variants. You have the standard variant that you're watching me use. This is going to cost you 1,000 certification points or 700 station cash. There's also a black version which is only purchasable with station cash and that is going to cost you 1400 and then there is a gold version which is going to cost you 2000 station cash now remember if you buy these with station cash you will be able to use them on all of your characters across all different servers also the hunter cqx is a secondary weapon that is usable by all classes in the game aside from max of course now you're going to see me using it primarily on infiltrator as that's the class that i think it best fits but we'll talk about that more in a minute first let's go over some stats so the crossbow is going to do 650 damage per shot out to 30 meters it's going to reach its minimum damage of 500 at 60 meters and unlike a lot of other weapons it's only going to have a 1.5 head headshot multiplier. So basically what that means is you will be able to one-shot infiltrators with a headshot out to about 45 meters. All other classes you will not be able to kill with one headshot. They will either take a headshot and a body shot or just simply two body shots. That's of course if they are not using something like nano weave or you have another factor like a heavy assaults overshield. This is going to come with a modest rate of fire of 60 rounds per minute, and that's due to a one second chamber time. The crossbow works a lot like a pump action shotgun, where you're going to have to pump it after each shot. It's also going to only have a mag size of 4 rounds with an ammo pool of 24, and it also has a very slow projectile velocity of 150 meters per second. Just to go over a few accuracy numbers quick, we'll start with ADS Cone of Fire. If you're crouching and remaining still, your Cone of Fire will be 0, of course. If you're moving while crouching, your Cone of Fire will be 0.2. If you're standing and remaining still, your Cone of Fire will once again be 0, of course. And if you're standing and moving, your Cone of Fire will be 0.55. And like most sidearms, the Hunter does have a 0.75 ADS Move Speed Multiplier. As for Hip Fire Accuracy, if you're crouching and remaining still, your Cone of Fire will be 1.5. If you're crouching and moving, your cone of fire will be 2. If you're standing still, your hip fire cone of fire will be 1.75. If you're standing and moving, your cone of fire will be 2.25. So as you can see, the hip fire is not too bad considering you basically have a cross between a sniper rifle and a pistol. So what does all this mean when actually using it on the battlefield? As strictly a secondary weapon, the Hunter QCX while using standard bolts isn't that desirable. When I think of a sidearm, I think of a finisher type weapon that I'm usually not going to have to do more than a few hundred damage to of course finish my target off. The slow rate of fire of the crossbow basically means that if you're using it like this, you will have to hit with your first shot or you're more than likely going to die. So because of this, there's only a handful of situations that I'd actually recommend using the crossbow with standard darts and the main one that comes to mind is if you're using shotguns. Shotguns are going to be very limited in range so having the extended range of a crossbow could actually be useful. If you take a class like a light assault you can use their jump jets to get to a nice vantage point, the crossbow could actually like act like your primary weapon, allowing you to pick up some silent medium range kills while still having you know, that shotgun on hand in case anybody actually gets into your face. With that being said, it's no coincidence that the crossbow got released with the Infiltrator update, as Infiltrator is the class that can best utilize it. I quickly found that combining the crossbow with Stalker Cloak was the best way to get the most out of the weapon. Since Stalker Cloak strips you of using your primary weapon, the crossbow is the next best thing when actually trying to get medium range kills. Aside from the crossbow, the closest thing you have to a long range sidearm is the Commissioner, but the Commissioner's one hit kill headshot range on infiltrators is much much more limited and of course you cannot suppress it so you would be losing a lot of your sneakiness whereas the crossbow will not ping you on the mini map no matter what also even though the crossbow isn't exactly designed for super close quarters because of its solid hip fire and damage it will still allow for the beloved shot knife combination 
As far as attachments go, we'll start with optics. Here you have your standard choices ranging from 1X through 6X as well as night vision. I found that sticking with 1X was the best choice for me, but I did have some effectiveness using pretty much everything except from the 6X. Even though the damage of the crossbow isn't bad at longer ranges, the bolt velocity is going to limit you in that department, making the 6X just a little too much zoom for the weapon. One thing that Kamikaze pointed out in his review on the crossbow, and I probably would have forgotten about this, is that the night vision optics do have mill dots, and those can be really useful if you are trying to maximize the range of the crossbow. For the barrel, we have no attachments, and for the rail, we have the laser and the dark light flashlight. I'd highly recommend throwing the laser on here if you're using this as an infiltrator, but if you do decide to go with the hunter as a secondary on another class for whatever reason, the dark light would be okay as well, and this is especially true for players playing on lower settings because as we know, cloaked infiltrators aren't going to be as visible for you. Next, we have the ammo slot, and this is where things begin to get interesting. You have two options here, the detect bolt and the explosive bolt. Starting with the detect bolt, this is going to replace your standard shot with a round very similar to a recon detect device. The main difference is that the duration of each shot will be very short, only lasting about 10 seconds. Also, the damage of the detect bolt is very low, making it almost impossible to kill anything with them. In theory, this might sound really cool, having this type of tool on a non-infiltrator class, but there's actually very few loadouts that I'd recommend using this. The main one being a support engineer type loadout. And engineer can sort of offset the short duration of these bolts by being able to, you know, resupply himself indefinitely. So say you're repairing a max Throw down an ammo pack and in between shots, you can just start, or in between repairs, you can just start launching these all over. Or even if you're just, you know, manning an AV turret, putting these out while waiting for your tur turret to cool down will work as well. Another class that I could possibly see using these on is a heavy assault equipped with a high capacity light machine gun. More rounds equals less need to pull out a sidearm for actually having to finish your target off. Detect bolts do have uses on every class, but the main thing you want to remember is that you cannot rely on them to actually kill anything, and that's, that's why they're somewhat limited to me. Then, of course, we have the explosive bolts. They are still going to do respectable damage against infantry, but they're going to travel slower. There's just going to be a lot more lob to them. They are going to reduce your mag size to three, and they come with very little actual blast radius. They will, however, damage vehicles and maxes, but I wouldn't say to a great extent. The first thing I did after buying these was I actually went out and tried to solo a vehicle. Yes, I know that's a uh, terrible idea, and it's not really intended for the purposes of soloing vehicles, but this will, however, give you a good idea of how much damage they actually can do to vehicles. And as you can see, it isn't that much. And all my using the explosive bolts, I didn't find them to be very useful at all. Sure, this will give you some limited ability to damage or kill vehicles as an infiltrator, but I just don't think it's worth giving up your sidearm. One thing I've yet to try, and something that I'm currently working on, is actually getting a small, you know, infiltrator squad equipped with stalker cloak and these explosive bolts and kind of running them out as an anti-vehicle hit squad. Uh, if it works, I'll make sure to show you guys that. Um, I think it could be a lot of fun. I think it could be effective, but again, I have to get a squad together and there has to be some coordination there. One other scenario where I could see these being useful is as a light assault trying to take out a sunder. Uh, two bricks of C4 will only light a sunder on fire, so the explosive bolt could work as kind of a finisher. And this is, of course, if you don't already have a grenade launcher on your carbine. Now, I did have some other success, slight success, using the explosive bolts. Mostly it was in tower fights where I was hiding in a vehicle bay, shooting up the stairs at maxes. But um, I could have just done that much more effectively using some other type of loadout or a heavy assault rocket launcher, something to that effect. So I'm not a huge fan of the explosive bolts. I think the regular standard bolts that come with the crossbow are the best overall option. I think that's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck, I guess, especially since you don't have to pay for them. Um, 
Like I said, the crossbow as a whole, in my opinion at least, isn't a very good secondary for most situations. And again, it wasn't a coincidence that it got released with the Infiltrator update, because the best use you can get out of it is in combination with the Stalker Cloak. For just a few tips on using it, you might want to run Ammo Belt if you're trying to use the crossbow from any significant range. Try to aim for the head if you can, even on non-Infiltrator targets. This will just assure you that a follow-up to the body will finish the job, unless, of course, it's a heavy assault with an overshield. Um, that is easier said than done, however, too, since the travel time is so slow on the bolts. But also, just follow a lot of my tips on uh, using the Stalker Cloak. Don't try to engage mul multiple enemies at a time. Try to recloak after each kill or each shot if you know you're not going to be able to land a follow-up shot. And overall, just be sneaky as it's the key to using a weapon like this. So anyways, guys, that is all I have. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. I'm out of bolts. I'm trying to get a lightning or something.